This is going to be fast. We're going to run a correlation between age and salary. I'm going to go to analyze, correlate, bivariate, and look at that. I already put them in there. So age and annual salary. There's nothing really to click here. We're not going to do the means or standard deviations because correlations really don't need those and we're not going to bootstrap. Here is the Pearson's correlation. That is your default. And this is where you would run a Spearman's, right? The Spearman's is the non-parametric version of the Pearson's. And if your data is ordinal, right, like, like liquor scales or, you know, that kind of thing, you would use Spearman's. Now, the two-tailed or the one-tailed test of significance is kind of important. So the null hypothesis would state that the correlation between these two guys is going to be zero. So I'm pretty sure it's not going to be zero. So if I'm picking in something that the correlation should be or might be, you know, I'm picking a side, uh, that makes it a one-tailed test. That's what we call directionality. So I'm going to change this to a one-tailed test. And then we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And there's our correlation right there. The correlation is R equals 0.313. It is significant, right? There's the sig value is 0.046. It's barely significant. And the effect size would be, you just square the R. So let me pull up Mr. Calculator here. Where is my calculator? Boom. So the effect size of this bad boy would be 0.313 squared. And that's about... 9.8%. What that means is 9.8% of the variance can be explained by this correlational model. All right, so I hope that helps. MGZ out.